it's Jen here welcome back to my channel today we're gonna talk about how to lose your belly fat so fast I'm gonna share with you my seven tips as well how I lose my belly fat in just seven days many people nowadays they don't care so much about their body the girls out there they're just saying to me it's okay because you are not married you don't have kids that's why it's very easy for you to lose weight what about those girls that they already have kids and it's hard for them to lose weight we understand that one I understand where you come from about this not to lose weight but that's why I will talk today how to be motivated to lose weight and to gain self-confidence to walk around and to dress up very nice I was once by told by a guy back home he told me that oh my god you have a very big fat belly it's not normal for a lady to have a big fat belly we should be ashamed with this one I feel very ashamed because he told me right away that I have a big belly and I think about it oh my god he's right I need to change my lifestyle not only lifestyle you need to be serious guys we need to be serious for us to lose weight and to be feel confident in meeting people not to feel bloated in your stomach and to be a role model for your kids when they grow up we don't want that our kids I don't have kids by myself but I heard a lot of stories from my friend that the kids already told them oh mom look at you you uh, you are fat what is this now guys I will tell you what is my deepest secret why I lose my weight within seven days and how it how does it work and how does it happen and I don't understand why people didn't tell you about this they keep it a secret that okay I go to the fitness and I exercise like that but but still you did not lose weight you still have your big fat belly so without any further my first tip how you could lose your belly fat is first you need to think about about your eating habit bad eating habit lead you to big fat belly what does it mean bad eating habit for example you go to the restaurant with your friend and then you saw somebody that eating oh my god huge steak huge meal and then you're just saying it's okay I'm, I'm gonna eat because I want to enjoy life but you never think about you already gaining so much fat in your body by taking a lot of food so my suggestion and my secret advice for this you just have to stay in focus eat moderately you can eat whatever you like I like to eat food and I also make a vlog about my vegan recipes about the cakes I love everything but uh, I'm just very very careful of what food that I eat I don't eat pork that's the number one ladies you have you need to listen this is the number one 
don't eat so much pork. I am very proud to say that it's been six months? Six months now that I did not eat pork. You know why? Because I found out that pork is really, really bad for my belly. It will just stuck all over in my stomach and it will not easily get burned. And we don't like that one. And it's been a year now that I don't drink sodas. What does it mean by this? Like cola, like Sprite, any sodas that has bubbles on it, I don't like to drink it. Because it feels that my stomach will bloat it after all I have to drink this and I feel guilty. And second, this is very expensive. We like to save money in terms of losing weight. So if you buy a lot of food out there, including the sodas, do you ask yourself, is I'm happy with this one? I am very, very thirsty. But instead of drinking sodas, why, do, why don't you want to drink normal uh, water? Normal cup of water. One glass of water, it makes sense a lot of from your body, inside of your body. I tell you this. I don't know why everybody's saying that, okay, water is very boring. I cannot take that one. When I meet my friend, I go out to the restaurant, I like to drink something else. Yes, we understand that one, ladies, that you have to drink and eat. But there is one thing that I would say that this is a replacement for me if I feel bored of water. I like to drink this hula blooms. What is this hula blooms? This hula blooms that I'm telling you this is like a, more likely as a Danish uh, ecological product that is just a little bit, no, I cannot say that this is soda. This is, this is just a normal drink with a little bit of sweet on it. But this is normal sweet. This is, comes from the natural flower. It's called edible flower. I don't know if you're familiar with that. But uh, in Denmark, we call this um, hula blooms. That one I drink and I love it so much. I've been drinking that one for two years in time now. I'm so happy with that one. Now let's move on to the second tip to lose belly fat. You need to have good sleep at night. What, what the heck? Why is this lady saying that I need to have a good sleep at night? I sleep good enough at night, but in the morning you feel tired. Why is it? How does it happen to you? I have to tell you this one. I sleep seven hours a day. We need to be practical. I cannot sleep for eight hours. It says in the book, it says in the Google that you need to sleep at least eight hours a day. But we just have to be realistic. Nowadays, you cannot sleep eight hours a day. But this is very, very effective. I sleep seven hours a day. If I sleep uh, lower than the seven hours, for example, six hours, five hours, oh my God, my head, I feel very, very, bad of my head, I got headache and everything. Oh, it's just very, very awful. And I'm not motivated to go to work because of this headache thing. So, in that case, again, it will trigger you to lose your belly fat. You're not losing weight at this time. So, the third tip that I'm going to share with you to lose belly fat is I like to exercise. What does it mean? I exercise two to three times in a week. I don't exercise every day. 
I don't like that one. And in fact, I don't have time as well. I have also my own life. But I will not forget to exercise every week. We will not say that, okay, today I exercise. Tomorrow, okay, I will go to my friend to a party and I forget to exercise. No, guys, you cannot do that. If you will exercise, you need to be consistent with your exercise. Do it. Be motivated. Have energy to exercise. Think about your future. Think about, if you have kids, think about your kids. You need to be a role model for your kids and for your family members. And think about your health. And my fourth tips, you need to hear about this. Oh my goodness. I must say that I walk a lot every day. How does it happen that I walk a lot? I walk 30 minutes before I go to bed. After I eat, like I just stay for 30 minutes at home and after that I just walk for 15 minutes or 20 minutes outside because I want to uh, burn all my foods that I eat and to digest everything. I will not just sit down and relax and watch television without doing nothing. This is really bad guys. And then other people also, they are eating candies while they are watching television. Oh no, this is really really bad for you. So don't do that. Walk around for 15 minutes and come back and relax and go to bed. That is very effective, I tell you. And my fifth exercise, fifth, the last tips is be patient. What is this girl talking about? Be patient. Yes, it is. We need to be patient in order for us to achieve our goals. I am very patient for us, for me to lose weight so fast. And I am also serious. If I like this, I like this. If I don't like this, I don't like this one. I like to be healthy and strong and to be a role model for everybody. Girls, you deserve to get fit and strong. So hopefully guys you enjoy this video and don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up and share it to your friends. And I also included some of my videos how to make cakes, how to make muffins. I hope also you're gonna visit that video soon. And um, one thing I'm gonna tell you before I left or before I go, sorry. Always remember, be powerful, be decide. Bye!